So we're going to do a build now, a vertical build. Uh, and what I'm going to do is we're going to use the conveyor walls. I want to buy those. And also I want to use the uh, wall power outlets. So those two items together, I've got enough tickets to buy them. So now in my in, uh, inventory, we have a look here. Uh, we have the... Um, we, on our walls section we have the wall conveyors so we can do three two and one and in our power section we now have wall connectors mark one uh, these are just like power poles four connections per line the doubles are either side of a wall when you get four either side and these are really good for bringing um, power into uh, a building and out of a building um, so the goal of what we're going to do here now is um, I'm going to take back my power shards because I believe I need them now. I temporarily put two power shards in here. So, yoink, they're mine again now. Earlier on I had a copper set up and then I um, didn't uh, reconstruct it until now because I've been sort of holding off to this point in time. So I've, I haven't really needed a lot of stuff here. This was the remaining of the copper here, and this is the, the mine. So what we're going to do is we're gonna add some more concrete here just to set our foundation down. Um, before we do that, before I get rid of the actual miner, I'm going to use the walls or actually I'm just going to use foundations to dictate the height that I need everything to be at so I'm going to go to say there this is where one meter foundations get used a bit because um, they are used like a roof and you can see here it's not going to work because it's still not the right height so if I went the next level up, then you can see still not the right height. It's still encroaching. So if we go up again and here, there we go. So that's a nice height difference right, that we're going to use there. Um, we're just going to leave that there for the moment because that is our indicator. I'm going to get rid of these ones and we'll just leave that there like that for the moment. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice sort of uh, and While we're talking about vertical building this guy here the manta ray the moth uh, Some people call him Steve other people call her a female name because it does have little things flying around with it If you're OCD inclined as you build higher up you need to pay attention to that's flight path because it will fly through your building It won't destroy the building but it can actually pick you up as well and take you and it just doesn't look nice when it goes through the building so just keep that in mind there are different sections in the map where that moth uh, appears and it can cause you havoc if you have OCD tendencies okay so now we've done that uh, we're gonna come down there that was a very graceful dismount I'm going to get rid of the miner here and we are going to do a little bit of a chainsaw to clear up materials. And let me just make sure, uh, I'm going to get rid of the copper ore out of my inventory. 